In this video, we're going to look at the WebGL Fluid extension from Elements Hives for Breakdance. It's a background extension that applies to a section or the whole page, and it allows you to create this type of effects. Uh, we have a website here with the latest stable version of Breakdance and Elements Hives for Breakdance. And here we have a empty page. So uh, one thing you might want to do is go to the Elements Hives website and check out the documentation when you are not sure about what a setting does. So in this case, uh, if we look at the WebGL Fluid, we can see that it is an extension. It supports the section elements and it can be accessed from the design tab. If we go back to our page and we add a section. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to give it a height of viewport. I'm just going to center everything and apply a dark background. And I will also add, uh, let's say a heading. So when we edit the section under the design tab, I'm going to have a new category called Elements Hive. And this will house all the extensions that apply to this uh, elements in question. So in our case, we want the WebGL Fluid, which is a background type. So under Backgrounds, Background Type, we will choose WebGL Fluid. Once we chose that, it will already be applied by default using the default settings. In order to access the settings, we can click on this icon that will open the settings with the uh, a pop up with the settings. So the first setting that we have is relative to, and this controls where the effects will be enabled. So by default, it is set for section, but this means that it only applies to the section where it's activated. If you have more sections on your page where you want the effect to be visible, for example, now it's on section, then it will not be visible on this section. But if we want to use this on that section as well, then we can change the setting relative to to page so now the setting would be uh, or rather the effects would be applied to all the sections that you have on the same page the next option that we have is the color type and this controls the type of colors that will get drawn with uh, with the effect so the default option is colorful which is a mix of different random colors drawn at the same time. The second option is random, which is a single color that gets drawn. It is automatically or randomly generated. And every time you do a, a left click on your mouse, it will generate a new color. The last color type is custom, and this is simply a color that you choose on your own. And you can choose whatever you like from the color picker, or you can choose a global preset that you already have configured. The next option is radius, and this controls the initial size of the splat. By default, it is set to 0 0.25 or 0 0.20, I forgot. But it is a setting that can go from 0 0.1 to 1.
the next option that we have is draw on load and what this will do is essentially draw a random number of splats in random locations on the screen every time the page loads and this of course just like everything else is compatible with whatever color type you chose the next option that we have is a post processing called bloom and what this does is that it supplies a glow effect on the whole screen since we are only drawing colors using these splats the only thing that will have effectively the bloom effects applied to is the color in question so when we look at the color right now maybe if i make it bigger it could be easier to see in the recording this is the default without the bloom effect and if we apply the bloom effect the color is much brighter and you can also see that around the uh, splat there is a bit more brightness in the hue of the chosen color the next effect is another post processing called sun rays and what this will do is it will create rays of light that will be emitted from the center of the splat outwards by default uh, I think it may not be visible on the recording on the top left corner you can see on the residual waves that is sort of like a darkish side and the more transparent side I can see the rays somewhat on my screen but on the recording it may not be visible but if we enable the bloom effects which applies to the whole screen it will also glow the rays of light so you can see that even outside of the splat there is sort of a smoky haze and those are the light rays that are being created all right so with just a few settings you can create a bunch of variations using the same extension next thing that i wanted to cover is the compatibility part i should mention first that the bloom and sun rays effect are processing intensive in terms of gpu processing so if it's not something that you need for your specific design you should just leave them dif disabled uh, and they are already disabled by default onto the compatibility although we are calling this a background widget or extension it is also compatible with the default background types meaning that here we are using a solid color type we can use a gradient type maybe i should change the color to something else We can, of course, use an image, a video, or a slideshow. And you can also use a overlay if you need to. The other thing to note is that your elements on the page can still be selectable and on the front end whatever requires or has some pointer or listener events will work as expected so if we have uh, for example pricing table then the button will still work and the pointer will still change as expected the event listener will still work as needed and one last thing to mention is that the extension is touch and mobile device uh, compatible so it will work on all devices that's it for this video i hope you like it 
and do like and subscribe to the channel if you find it useful.